wondering if your infant who was treated for developmental dysplasia of the hips still needs x-rays every year? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to do some myth busting about x-rays every year when a baby was treated for developmental dysplasia of the hips. So here at My Favorite Physio, we see lots of babies and newborns. We often carry out the newborn baby check where we look at baby's hips, neck, and feet. We are often seeing babies with hip problems called developmental dysplasia of the hips, or commonly known as clicky hips. Our expert pediatric physiotherapists are often treating these infants with pelvic harnesses. Now the pelvic harness is the gold standard treatment for clicky hips or developmental dysplasia of the hips. Very often we would be carrying out a protocol of either six weeks or 12 weeks to help baby's hips develop well. Once the hips hit a coverage percentage that is appropriate and ideal is 60%, we would stop the treatment and baby's hips would have been scanned and the indication on those scans would be the hip shape is perfect for their age. It is covering the hip joint perfectly up to 60% coverage and we're happy with the angles of the hip joints. That means that the treatment was successful and baby's hips are diagnosed as being normal now. That is often done when baby is little. So we're looking at three months old to six months old. Beyond that, once the hip joint is well developed, there's no need to keep getting annual hip x-rays. So some parents have said to us, oh, but I read on Google that after this, my child needs a hip x-ray at one years old, two years old, three years old, four years old, year on, year on, year. Now that is wrong. That is not true. You do not need to expose your child to annual hip x-rays because there's really nothing you're going to do about it except zap your child to a lot of radiation unnecessarily when there's no treatment that you would do for it. We know that a child's hips are well formed through the ultrasound scan that would have done when they were a baby after their pelvic harness. We know that their hips are good because baby should be walking by 18 months. If your child has had a pelvic harness treatment as a baby, and they're walking anywhere between 12 months to 18 months, then their hip joints are perfectly well developed. There's no need to keep taking x-rays of the hips because nothing is going to change and there is no treatment for it either. Your child will no longer need a harness. They will no longer need any sort of intervention and they don't actually need any surgery for it either. So constant x-rays year after year is not sensible and if anything poses a risk of radiation for your child with no benefits. So if you're out there and your baby has had developmental hip dysplasia treated with a harness and it's been discharged at that point in time with great ultrasound scans of their hips, do not worry about their hips and please do not expose them to repeated x-rays unnecessarily. Now, if you're concerned about your little one and their hips, why don't you ring us here at My Favorite Physio, speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists. The number to ring is 02-9790-4233. And if you know somebody out there who's got a little baby with clicky hips and they haven't really had it looked at or treated, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye.